All right, I'm going to show you a couple examples of solving a word problem using a system of linear equations, problem type 3. And these problems are basically going to be um, distance equals rate times time problems. Okay, so you need to be familiar with this formula. You also need to be familiar with the fact that we're going to assume a couple of things. And one of them is... Um, like in this case, we're talking about a child is um, running on a moving sidewalk on an, in an airport. So um, if the moving sidewalk is moving in this direction, if the child is running in that direction, we're going to assume that the child's speed is increased by the same amount of speed of the, the um, moving sidewalk. Okay. Now, if the child is going against the sidewalk, we're going to say that the child's speed is decreased by the same amount as whatever the speed of the sidewalk is. Okay? Now, this we're going to make the same assumption whether we're talking about an airplane flying against the wind or with the wind. We're assuming the airplane speed will be increased or decreased by the same amount as the wind speed. Okay? And that you're going to see you know, this in terms of like maybe somebody swimming in a stream, going with the current against the current. Okay, it's all the same kind of idea. Okay, um, so now what I suggest here is I, you know, when I'm doing distance equals rate times times, sometimes what I do is I set up um, a chart. So I do um, rate time and distance in my chart. And I know in this case I have a child again running on the moving sidewalk Okay, in the airport. It's running against the sidewalk's motion. So I'm going to have in my chart here um, child um, against The sidewalk. Sorry, that got a little sloppy there. And then the child going in the same, um, running with the child sidewalk. Okay. So you're going to label those, and then we're going to fill this out. Okay, so. A child is, um, when he runs against the sidewalk, he travels at 40 feet in 10 seconds. Okay, so 40 feet is um, the distance. And the time is 10 seconds. Now the rate is going to be, you're going to have the child's rate. Okay, so the child, the rate the child's running. And then we're going to have the rate of the sidewalk, so I'm going to call that S. Okay. Now, if you're going against the sidewalk, you would take the child's rate, and um, you're going to subtract the rate of the sidewalk. Okay. Um, okay, so that's that first part. And now we're going to go to the next part. When the when he runs with the sidewalk motion, he travels at 72 feet in 12 seconds. Okay, so distance is 72 feet. Time is 12 seconds. Now the rate in this case is going to be the child's rate plus the rate of the sidewalk. So just remember we're saying basically if the child's running at... Um, five miles per hour and the sidewalk was two miles per hour, then the rate would be, uh, you know, five minus two, which would be three miles per hour. And then going with the sidewalk would be five plus two, which would be seven miles per hour. So that's kind of the basic idea there. Okay. Now we know distance equals rate times time. So we're going to take this rate, times it by the time, and set it equal to the distance. So C minus S, parenthesis, times 10, 
equals 40. And then we're going to take the second set of um, information here and take the rate, times it by the time, and set it equal to the distance. So the quantity C plus S is all multiplied by the time, 12 seconds, right, equals the distance of uh, 72 feet. Okay, so now um, you can see um, that what we're going to do is we have two equations with two unknowns, and now we need to solve these. Now you can go ahead and distribute the 10 through and distribute the 12 through, or you can see if, hey, I could divide both sides of my equation, my first equation by 10, and I can rewrite this equation as C minus S equals, let's see, 40 divided by 10 is 4. Just kind of simplifies it a little bit. And I know I can divide 72 by 12, so instead of distributing this by 12, we're going to divide both sides by 12. And that's going to give me my new equation of C plus S equals 6. Okay, and so now we're going to go ahead and solve this. Um, we have two un equations with two unknowns, and I can see that I, I can add these two equations together. Using the addition method, I get 2C the s's cancel out because they're opposite of each other, equals 10. And I can divide both sides by c, excuse me, both sides by 2, and I get c equals 5. Okay, so remember c is the child's rate. So um, the child, this is, um, the child is running, and this would be 5 feet per second. Okay, we have feet, feet and seconds here, so that's why I know it's feet per second. And then I can solve this for s by plugging this um, c equals 5 into one of these equations here. And I'm going to plug that in to the second one, so 5 plus s equals 6. I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides and I get s equals 1. So the um, sidewalk is moving um, 1 foot per second. And that is how um, you solve one of these questions. Um, let me show you one more example. So in this example, a cyclist travels at 108 kilometers in six hours going against the wind, against the wind, and she travels 168 kilometers with the wind in the same amount of time. So you're looking for the rate of the cyclist. We're going to call that C. Okay. Excuse me. And then, um, and what is the rate of the wind? So we're going to say W equals the rate of the wind. <clears throat> now we have a, a cyclist traveling against the wind. And then um, with the wind put that in our chart. Okay. Okay, so remember distance equals rate times time, so we want rate, time, and distance in our chart here. So Going against the wind, it's 108 kilometers, that is distance. In six hours, that's time, okay? And we know going against, um, cyclists going against the wind, remember, so we're going to take the rate of the cyclist, and we're going to subtract the rate of the wind. So the wind's going to slow the cyclist down if it's going against the wind. Okay, um, 
Then we're going to have obviously cyclist with the wind, so we know that's going to be um, the rate of the cyclist plus the rate of the wind. And then the time it says she travels 168 kilometers with the with the wind in the same amount of time. So this is still going to be six, and the distance is 168. And so now we just simply you know do distance equals rate times time. So I'm essentially doing rate times time equals distance, but um, so I'm going to take the rate times the time and set it equal to the distance for my first um, set of information in my table. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the second set of information, C plus W times the quantity of 6 equals 168. Now remember, you can distribute or you could divide both sides by 6 for your equations to simplify. So I'm going to do that. And so if I divide um, this side by 6, I get C minus W. And then 108 divided by 6 is 18. And I do the same thing for the second equation. I'm going to divide both sides by 6 to simplify it. C plus W equals 168 divided by 6 is 28. And now I have two equations with two unknowns, and I, I can see that I can simply add them together. That it's going to simplify really nicely here. So I'm going to add these two equations together. And then I get 2C, the W's cancel out, equals 46. So I divide both sides by 2, and I get C equals 23. And then I can plug this into one of those, origi one of those equations up here. I'm going to do the second one. So C plus W equals 28. I'm going to replace the C with 23. And you can see that if I subtract 23 from both sides, I'm going to get W equals 5. So remember what C is. C is the rate of the cyclist. So the cyclist is traveling um, at 23, and that's kilometers per, per hour. And that would be if there was with no wind. So that would be the rate if there was no wind. And then the wind is uh, 5 kilometers per hour. And so you can see the pattern here um, of this problem.